Sync. Hello, my friends. Thank you for joining me. I am, of course, the lunatic Cyfrost, and this is the joy of pouring. Welcome. There are 15 people that were waiting, uh, waiting for the stream to start. So a big hello and a huge thank you. I can see lots of little, oh, I can see one quick. Hi, Kat. Hi, uh, Karen Bean. How are you doing? Um, thank you so much for your love and support, guys, and being there waiting for the show. Um, it fills my heart and um, lets me know I'm doing the right thing and we're going in the right direction uh, with this little show here. So yes, welcome one and all. Let's just do some introductions. Uh, I don't have Christy in my ear this time. Christy's having some internet issues and hopefully she's going to be there in the live chat. She said she was going to do her best and I told her not to worry if you can't make it. It's no huge big deal. We're all going to miss you, but it's no big deal. But it would be great if Christy's there. We've of course got the lovely Vanna Swipe just to my to my left right there, uh, who's also manning uh, the live chat and saying hello and answering for me because obviously I'm doing the show. Um, the other people I'd love to give a shout out to, of course, there's the people that are going to be following me and that's the uh, Crazy Train and uh, Venom Fluid Art, a brother from another mother, Darren is following me and then after Darren, the train hopefully is going to Christy, but I don't know, she's had internet troubles all week, I'm not 100% if she was able to get a video uploaded, but uh, oh yeah, no. I did look, and yes, there is one premiere coming up, I'm pretty sure, unless my version of The Matrix is just really screwy and crazy. Uh, but we've also got to give a big shout out to our lovely friends, Lance, Sheldon, and Britt. I know Britt is in Florida right now doing the um, Fluid Art Boutique, which sounds like an amazing amount of fun. Uh, and uh, yes, Lance and Sheldon, and their train that they do on a Saturday that starts at 1 p.m. Uh, Eastern Standard Time, and it's 4 p.m. Uh, Western. Uh, and their show is Perspectives in Paint Pouring. So they've got a, a train on the Saturday and we've got another one here on the Sunday just to break up the show so it's not so long for you guys. Okie dokie, so that's the introduc introductions, introductions, introductions. Um, the show this week, yes, Back to Basics Part 3 for uh, the beginners and evidently for Frosty as well. Um, the colours I mixed up last week, the ratio I mixed them to, was uh, really ideal for a Dutch pour. Uh, quite loose and uh, easily movable with uh, you know, your breath or a, a hairdryer. Um, but then I ended up doing a dirty pour with those paints at that consistency. And it, it worked. Here we go, the dried results, it worked. We've got a beautiful, beautiful piece, really, honestly. The shades of pink and red and orange are really beautiful. But you can see how close the little lines are to each other, it looks like a piece of agate. It's really pretty. Um, but if you mix your paints a little bit thicker, you can get some more clear definition between the different colors. And when we stretch it out, they stretch out much nicely and actually expand a little better than this one. So we are redoing this one <laughs> from last week. And uh, the colors we are going to use, let me just go through those for you guys at home that are going to be painting along with me. Let me just take a sip of this. And don't worry guys at home, with the affordable budget-friendly paints from the dollar store, please don't worry if you don't have the colours that we have here that I've chosen. Um, please just swap them out for whatever colours you do have because you'll be creating a new colour palette and we would love to see how that works out if it works out really well for you. Uh, and of course join the Acrylic Crazy Train, that's our group on Facebook. So search so on Facebook, the Acrylic Crazy Train, you'll find myself there, Vanna there, all of the lovely admins and moderators from the live chat. Um, and it's a great old time, it's a safe space for you. So if you're just learning it's perfect because you can post your pictures with questions about how to improve without fear of being ridiculed or you know receiving nasty messages or less than positive messages let's say I and the other admin and the other members and the fabulous jelly beans we all police it as hard as we can to make sure that never happens and if anybody's ever caught displaying that kind of bad attitude they are asked to leave Anyway, so let's get on with this, the colours that I'm going to use. And one of the reasons why we got a bit of mudding happening here was because I put in gold. Again, just completely distracted. I do remember that if we use gold with these uh, other dollar store paints at that really quite low uh, ratio of um, one, uh, half ounce of paint to an ounce of flow troll, um, it muddies up the colours, which is what happened. So, 
we are not using gold this week <laughs> and the colors we are going to use this week it is the acrylic the um the majestic purple just got to give these a bit of a shake because there's not a lot in them and then shake them down this way and hopefully there'll be an ounce of them in and we're going to mix up the paint then we're going to use the cobalt blue okay let's give it a shake and then leave it upside down so we can squeeze it all out if we need to. <laughs> then we're gonna use tropical green, okay? Don't worry, I'm gonna point the camera pointing, get the camera pointing down and you're gonna see all the colors together. But then we're gonna be using uh, the wild eggplant, this beautiful kind of yeah, eggplant color, lovely purple. And then we're going to use the fun fuchsia. And yeah, not a lot left, but hopefully enough. And then we're gonna use, just for some crazy contrast between the pink and then the purple, which is gonna follow the bright, vivid yellow. So this should be fun, hopefully. So let me just get the camera pointing down and we'll start mixing up some paints and we'll get on with painting. And one thing, we're gonna mix up, there's uh, six colors here and we're gonna mix them up 50-50. So an ounce of Floetrol straight up with an ounce of paint. And that gives us a slightly thicker consistency and hopefully we're gonna get some more definitions, uh, definition between the lines on the actual piece. Um, the other reason why I'm still chit-chatting is because we're gonna make six ounces, of, uh, sorry, we're gonna make 12 ounces of um, color and I have already mixed up just under about three and a half of the uh, of white for a flow extender around the actual edge of the piece when we pour it. So we're gonna have uh, da -da -da, 12, 13, 14, 15 and a half ounces, which as you could imagine, is a little bit excessive for a little uh, 10 inch cradle like this. So with that amount of paint, and hopefully my calculations are correct, we're gonna use this 10 by 20, yeah. And because it's a rectangle, we're gonna to have to do some sort of like traveling pour of some description or other, because I can't just, <laughs> hi there, hi there, Venom, hi there, Bridget. I can just see the, the uh, messages going up. Um, yes, uh, we're gonna to have to do some sort of traveling pour, because we can't just pour it all in the middle, because it will come off the sides. So it's gonna to have to be kind of poured in the middle a little bit. But I would like you guys in the live chat, if there is a technique, with the paints at this consistency, so we're talking uh, the dirty pores, the funnel pores, uh, the straight pores, things like that, um, the basic elementary pores, please suggest one if you'd like to see me do it, and I will do it on this, in a kind of travelling mode, obviously. So, chitty chat, chitty chat chat, just going to have another drink. And I am just going to, ah yes, um, just say if you would like to support us, any of the admins and the moderators that are in the live chat, please visit our Facebook stores. Um, there will be links to them in the Acrylic Crazy Train. Uh, and it's a great way of supporting us if you'd love to show your, if you would like to show your love and support for us. And you can buy a piece of art for us, which will make Vanna very happy because the stock will go down. <laughs> um, and uh, you actually get something out of it well as well. So Let's get the camera pointing down and let's start making some paint, mixing some paint up. So there we go, oops. Now, again, I'm gonna mess around with this for a minute because it really, I don't know why I can't get a nice straight shot. There we go, brilliant, bingo. Oh, fantastic. <laughs> Vanna is showing me uh, the picture on her phone so I can make sure the shot is, is fairly decently straight. Okay, so we're gonna use the little beaker if uh, we're gonna do some sort of dirty pour. And let's mix up some of these paints then while I've just been chit-chatting. And again, if you've just joined us guys and you're at home and you want to paint along, these are the colors we're gonna be using. And don't worry if you don't have these colors, Please just swap out whichever colour you don't have for... Oh, I saw a sticker just go up through there. Oh, lamb bean. Thank you so much, darling. That's so kind of you. Thank you. So, yes, we're mixing this up 50-50. Um, ounce of paint, ounce of flow troll. There we go, and that's the end of that one. That's quite good, using these up. And let's just give this one a uh, mix up and a stir. And I can show you the consistency of this one because the uh, contrast is pretty good uh, with the with the paint and the light here. So I had to think of a second, think for a second. So 50-50 is not going to be watery, it's gonna be like, almost like a coffee creamer, I guess. 
Is that a good one to say? No, not coffee creamer. Anyway, I can show you right now. There you go. Can you see the paint nicely, Vanna? Yes. Fantastic. And you can see the consistency of 50-50. Awesome. So let's get the rest of these paints mixed up and we're going to start having some fun. <laughs> I can hear Vanna's, Vanna's uh, fingernails just furiously kicking on the, <laughs> tap, 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 and she's answering. I hope you guys have had a, had a great weekend so far. And again, thank you guys for joining me and joining us for the, uh, for the train that uh, follows uh, of uh, Venom Fluid Art and of course, Creations by Christy. Is Christy in the live chat, Vanna? Uh, she was. I'm not sure if she's here right now. Oh, bless her. She managed to... She, she popped in. Yeah, she was. She sent me a message this morning just saying I'm having terrible internet troubles. And so I might not be able to make it. Please apologise for everyone. And please apologise to Britt and Lance and Sheldon for not making your premieres yesterday. And I was... Oh, she was being so sweet and so concerned. I'm like, darling, I shall mention it to them, as I just have right now. But I'm sure, you know, everybody understands. Life happens. <coughs> Stuff gets in the way and, you know, sometimes we have to, uh, yeah, sometimes we can't always do the things we want to do uh, for whosever reason or whatever fault it is. Um, but anyway, it's lovely to see her just there. Maybe we might see her again in a little while. Now, I have now officially kind of run out of uh, US flow troll. And um, rather than go and buy some more, for the next couple of JOPs, we are going to leave the dollar store paints uh, to one side and we are going to start using uh, the nice, uh, well, the slightly higher quality paints and then the TLP pigments, the little piggies, because we all know we love our piggies here. Uh, and we're going to have some fun with those. And that's my plan. <laughs> anyway, so no burning questions or has anybody suggested a style for me to do. Open cup, ribbon pour, or Bridget said she wants to see fingerlings, a ribbon pour out of a square cup. Oh, a ribbon pour out of a square cup, fingerlings. Is that what you just said? That's what she said. Oh, wow, that's crazy. Um, that's a great idea. I don't have a square cup though. Oh, I just saw Lily go through there. Lily Burns, thank you, darling, so much. I have your, uh, your, your parcel is by the front door. And when we go back down to uh, town next, which I think is Tuesday, Tuesday, we shall send them off on Tuesday. And if Krina Toma is uh, in the live chat as well, your prize, the JOP giveaway, Krina, is uh, there also and will be sent on Tuesday. And there's one other one as well. And for the life of me, I can't remember who it is right now. The paint is too thick for a Dutch pour. Sorry, sorry, Vanna? The paint is too thick for a Dutch pour. Who, right, okay, so Vanna is just reading out something someone said, saying this paint is too thick for... No, someone suggested Dutch pour. Oh, sorry, okay. Someone suggested Dutch pour, and this paint may be a little on the thick side for a Dutch pour. Travelling ring pour, open cup, and ribbon pour are your three suggestions so far. Travelling... Say the three again, please, Vanna. Traveling. Oh, George Ann, is that George Ann? Oh. Yeah, no. Oh, Daniel Naden was that one. I can't quite see. Someone just sent a sticker. Thank you ever so much, whoever that was. Travelling ring pour, open cup pour, or ribbon pour? Oh, I do like the open cup pours, but um, a travelling one is going to be good, so we can uh, actually, because the thing with the open cup pours is um, they tend to uh, go which way they want to go and we can try to kind of get them to travel down the middle of a canvas. But that's not always the most easiest thing. But we will see what we can do, absolutely. Um, let's do a travelling ring pour. Yes. That sounds like a good idea. How does that sound, guys, in the live chat? And of course, I'm going to have to keep my hand rather still and steady while I do the travelling ring pour. There you go, friends. So you can see the consistency. It's just a little bit thicker than what we were doing last week. And as I said last week, they would have been great for a, for a Dutch pour, uh, but not so great uh, for a ring pour. But it all depends on what you're actually going for. As I said, anyone that's just joined us, 
This is the piece from last week. And you can see the lines, it's quite pretty, but the lines are really close together. So if we use, we're gonna see what happens when we thicken our paints up a little more, we're gonna get greater definition and thicker lines rather than lots of these little thin ones. So it looks like agate. And we are going to see how well that turns out for us. Just need to have a drink. Oh dear. And again, thank you for everybody that sent stickers so far. That's so amazingly kind of you. I'm very, very grateful. We're very, very grateful. And uh, I don't think it should be too long before we can uh, get that new laptop. I think we'll just buy something and we'll just, you know, not an expensive one, I guess. We'll just use it for this purpose. But um, yes, some news. Next, not next week, the week after next. Three weeks yesterday. Three weeks yesterday. Okay, guys. So um, we're going back to visit Vanna's father in uh, in Puerto Penasco in Mexico, uh, and we're going for the Day of the Dead uh, festival. Or going when we're going, that's actually happening. Um, and I was thinking about maybe doing a live or something like that. But of course, I wasn't thinking that I, my phone won't work there in Mexico uh, to do a live. Uh, I have to be on Wi-Fi somewhere. So what I am going to do is at the least uh, do some filming of the, um, well, let me try and get this right. Diaz de los Muertes. Muertes. Muertes, sorry. Diaz de los Muertes. The Day of the Dead Festival. Um, and what I shall do is I shall um, upload the videos to the YouTube channel so you can see what the Day of the Dead Festival was like there in sunny Puerto Penasco. Uh, and the, um, uh, that's right at the end of, uh, of October. So we arrive on Saturday. We arrive in Phoenix on Saturday, we arrive in Mexico on Sunday. That is it. So that Sunday, I'm afraid, guys, we arrive kind of when... JOP is supposed to be happening. So we're going to take a break for that week, but the following week we shall do it on the day before we leave. Yeah, no JOP on the 30th. No JOP on the 30th. But there'll be one the following Sunday. But there will be one the following Sunday, and I shall upload the video so you guys can look and have a good time. Excellent. So traveling, uh, a traveling ring pour sounds like a great idea. So let me just pour all these lovely paints in there. Now I'm wondering whether to just go all of them together um or uh, uh go around the go around the go around the colors twice i'm just going to go for it all straight together and we were going to do a traveling ring pour excellent okay so not uh not a dirty pour so let me pour all of this in nice and gently see so this is what this isn't a, going to be a dirty pour even though we're pouring all of the colors in the same beaker we're doing it very carefully just letting it go down the side and make a little pull at the bottom. So they are going to mix a little, but certainly not as much as they did last week when we just threw all of the colors in there really haphazardly. I think we went around the colors twice and we were just throwing them in and, you know, scraping them out. So here we go, that's the cobalt blue. Dun, dun, dun. Now let's do this fantastic tropical green. Here's a contrast for you. Oh, and one thing I did have to do, I did, I did do rather, was um, strained the flow troll, the US flow troll. I was getting right at the bottom of the bottle and there were definitely some goobers in there. So uh, I strained it. So that's another good, good thing to remember to do is even if it's a new bottle, good idea to strain it as you put into your little mixing cups. Here we go with the, Wild eggplant on top of that tropical green. Wow. That's looking fantastic. I love the color separation. Okay, guys, it's that one. Now we're going for the fun fuchsia on top of that eggplant. Wow. Excellent. So sorry, guys, if you can hear in the background some uh, construction noise. You can't hear it? Oh, that's fantastic. We've got a, a neighbour, a lovely neighbour of ours, who's renovating his house and doing it rather slowly every weekend. <laughs> so apologies if you can hear some, hear some power tools and things like that in the background. And there we go with the fantastic, that awesome yellow. Wow. 
there we go. So that's our colours down. Now there were, oh dear, there's a little bit of paint I dripped here, quickly, quickly, clean it up, clean it up. <laughs> now let me just set out four of these little chaps. For the canvas here, the 10 by 20. Oh, that worked out pretty good right there, bingo. And yes, you're gonna see size gonna get messy. And Christy, I know she's in the live chat. She's gonna be going, yes. <laughs> because we like getting a bit messy occasionally. It's fun. I really do love using these, um, using the budget-friendly paints. Uh, they do give you really great results. And, you know, not everybody. <coughs> we are very fortunate. I am very fortunate. I could afford the, to buy a for peas and the, and the, and the uh, more higher quality paints. And um, they are great. They work fantastic. But so do these little dollar store guys. I am so impressed. When we first started JOP and first started using them, they, uh, they were just doing so amazingly well. Um, it was just crazy. They were awesome, awesome paints. Okay, so now I'm just going to put this uh, 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 flow extender, I guess we're calling it. Bit of a base of just the uh, white paint, uh, the dollar store budget friendly white paint. And I'm just going to, here we go. Just kind of tip it around a little bit, kind of get it to cover a lot of the edges. Da, 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 da. Should have mixed up a little bit more, but I've run out of flow troll, as I've told you guys. So I'm going to just let it move around like this a bit. Excellent. Sorry if it's a bit boring, guys, just watching me do that. But uh, let's now just smooth this puppy out just a little bit. There we go. I want to, um, the, other, uh, the, the, other, the other thing that helps these uh, techniques, I feel, is if we kind of have most of our canvas pretty wet with a nice base, because then when we start to tilt the piece, the colors move really nicely and evenly all over the base and we get some hopefully we're going to get some nice good definition this time with the paints just a little bit thicker and we're going to not lose so much of the initial design we see come out because we have the base down okay wiffy waffle <laughs> excellent that'll do that's good great and remember friends Always clean your tool in a clean environment. <laughs> right, so let's get the camera pointing down a little bit further. There we go. And let's do this traveling ring pour. Right, so we've got, as I said about, yes, 200 mil, just under 200 mil, so just about an ounce and a half out of each one because there's around about three ounces, 200 milliliters. So I'm gonna start around about here and then we're gonna slowly, that's a good view, isn't it guys? Yes. So you see, you must pour it out. <laughs> Now we can keep going, or we can go right back up the middle. I'm not sure. I'm gonna just hold off a minute. I quite like this, how that's going, but we've got a slightly more paint here than we do down this end, so. Well, I was just gonna do a stripe right down through the middle okay. banner. So let's see how that one works out, or if I completely ruin it. What are people saying in the live chat? <laughs> Nothing yet. Nothing yet, okay. Well, let's carry on and we'll go back up through it. Fan is laughing, so obviously you guys are having good little chitty chats. It's pretty. 
There we go, guys. So, okay, time to get really messy now. This is fantastic. I do like this new format of kind of not so much waffle at the, at the beginning, guys, so we can just get straight in to more painting because that's, let's be honest, that's what we're here and that's why we want to do this. Now, I'm a bit mm, about doing that. I should have left it, I guess. Now, I could modify it and put some lines through it. Yeah. Wreck it. Shall we wreck it, guys? Let's wreck it. We're going to do a wrecked traveling ring Try pull. Well, we like the yellow, I guess, but um, anyway, so that's going to wreck like it. The yellow. You like the yellow? Oh, right, okay, great. Brilliant. Brilliant. Okay, so I'm going to. Bridget says swipe it. Swipe it, Bridget? I like that idea very much. Swipe it with what? Uh, oh, uh, well, this is, again, though, yeah, uh, cell activator, but we're not supposed to be using cell activators because this is Back to Basics for Beginners Part 3. I know, but it looks so pretty. It does look pretty, doesn't it? But what I'm really liking, let's get in close for you guys, is I'm loving this bit here. We've got some beautiful cell action happening. It's very small, let's admit, but it's still quite fun. It's quite pretty. So I'm thinking, should I wreck it? Yeah, wreck it. I'm going to wreck this side. There we go. It's different. Shall I wreck it again, or are we going to be good with that? Well, actually, I see what I'm, uh, I think what I make out of it is just. Ooh, it looks like a feather. There we go. Right. So, time to get messy. Let's move, start moving this all around. Wow. Yes, we've got more than enough paint here. Let's move it back over this way. Get it over to here, and then let's get it back down to there. Lovely. Bring it back over. Let's get it in this corner, and this is the corner where we're going to go for it first. So, boom. Okay, I'm sorry, guys. Vanna, can you just bring the camera up a little bit, the arm, so it's a little higher, so everyone can see how I'm tipping it? Brilliant, that's better. That's awesome. Okay. Here we go, guys. It's come out quite prettily, I think. Beautiful. Now let's just get this corner over. About losing too many of those cells, they're ever so pretty. Okay, let's get it back. And now we're going to end on that last corner over here. Bingo. Now, I'm sure you guys can probably hear that noise out there. Yeah, if it's a bit annoying, guys, tell, please tell us and we'll go and shut the door. Yeah, could you go and shut the door, Vanna? We don't need to hear our neighbours hammering away. And there you have it, my friends. Wow, we've got some great little uh, cells happening here. Let me just pick up a bit of this. Anyway, so yes, sorry guys, we're just shutting that window there so we can shut out that lovely noisy neighbour who every weekend makes this noise, which is lovely for us. Yes, Vanna, I was trying not to get, you know, a bit aggro about it. Grumble, grumble, 6.30 a.m. Grumble, grumble, 6.30 a.m. He usually starts doing that. And um, there's no reasoning with the guy, so we just let people like that get on with their lives. <laughs> and we don't let things like that bug us, or we try not to let things like that bug us. But anyway, so there you go, my friends. Well, we've got some great cell action happening down this end. Just cleaning up my hands a little bit. It's beautiful. So I can show you. I get close on that. Yeah, these little, these um, cells are fantastic. I mean, I didn't put any, there's no silicone in them or anything like that. It's just flow trial and water. Right, drying my hands up a little bit. Taking another little drink of water. This is awesome. Now let's get you right in nice and close for a close up. And again, I can't understand why I can't get the shot. Nice and straight for you guys. And I guess I need a better 
camera arm as well would do. But here we go, bang. Let's get you in nice and close. Is that good? Oh, nearly, awesome. Hang on, go. Yeah, it's a little bit of a delay, but... Right, so there we go. That's as best as I can yep. get it for you guys. It's oh, good. dear. It's in the shot. Yeah, I guess it's in the shot. I just like to have things kind of nice and square in the shot. I, I was a graphic designer for many years, and it really bugs me when things aren't, you know, if we don't have good lines. Okay, guys, so for those of you with a little torch at home, let's give it a little torch. That will get rid of the air bubbles, but hopefully it will give us a bit more cell action. So there you go. You see how quickly I'm doing it, guys? Very, very quickly. We don't need to go too close to the paint at all because we will start to burn it. Now, with this, excuse me, I'm sorry, <laughs> drinking the water. Uh, with this amount of Floetrol in uh, the paints here, uh, again, it's going to dry really beautifully because Floetrol is a paint extender. It has really good binders and polymers in it which do not dilute the colours of the paint as long as you don't put too much in the actual mixture. We use it in our day jobs uh, when we're painting in a very hot or humid environment and you need to give the paint longer to dry to get a better finish. But we certainly don't mix it one-to-one -one like we do with the craft paint or anything like that, we maybe would put in uh, a couple of hundred millilitres of it in, say, a gallon uh, of paint to actually paint a wall, but um, that's what we use it for. And with that much paint, with that much Floetrol in the craft paint here, it's going to dry really nicely, and it's surprisingly, I thought it was going to take a couple of days. In one day, it was nice and dry and ready to go. Yeah. Vanna so is really saying, she, it's so pretty, it's so pretty. Let me know what you think, guys, in the live chat. Please tell me. Um, I'm really quite happy with it too. I mean, let me get in closer, yeah. these little cells here. Like they're almost, whoops, they're almost little mini peacock cells, little rainbow cells. And then we've got the lovely cobalt blue popping up through the majestic purple there. And then the yellow... Uh, the vibrant yellow, the fun fuchsia, and then the eggplant. That fade there is just pretty, very pretty, I think. And I love this, where we've got some good definition between the two blues and then a yellow, because usually, as we know, if you mix the yellows and the blues, we get a kind of green. But we've got some great, let's be honest, it's starting to turn just a little bit greeny there, but there's still some great definition uh, between the colours, I feel. Um, the lines are still pretty thin. Maybe we could have mixed it even thicker than that. Maybe only half an ounce of Floetrol to an ounce of paint. But when we start really thickening up our paints, guys, we start having to use much more and more for uh, this size canvas, because the thicker they are, the slower they move and the less they will cover, if that makes sense to everybody. Vanna's sitting there smiling very happily, tapping away. Lily Burns, I noticed you never use water. I thought it was necessary. Right, Lily Burns. Hi there, Lily. Um, right, she said, yes, you notice I never put water in these. Why is that? Because I've seen lots of people, I know Britt uses um, some water in uh, in uh, in her paints. I know Sheldon does. I know lots of people do. I don't with the craft paint here because when we were starting the JOP and I was experimenting, you know, with the dollar store paints for a good few weeks before the first show to make sure I knew what I was doing and was playing around with them correctly, I did try to thin them out with just water. And whenever I tried to use them thinned out with water, it just created a mud immediately and it didn't work for me whatsoever. So that really kind of put me off adding water to the dollar store uh, budget-friendly paints just because, you know, um, they're not the best quality. And when we add water to a paint, it's not like Floetrol that extends the paint because it has binders and agents in the Floetrol. Water actually breaks down the molecules. So if you add too much water or if all your paints are a little watery, they'll just all mix together and they'll turn to mud. Or they did for me, like I said, when I was uh, experimenting and uh, playing around with these great little paints for the show. So I can, I'm gonna hold this up a little bit closer for you guys so you can see it a bit better. It's really nice, let's check. Oh, let's check for the movement here. Have we got much movement? No, we really don't. Excellent, so here we go. Let's just have a look underneath. You can see how much paint we really didn't waste, hardly any at all. 
Um, and that really makes me happy, especially when we're using the dollar store paints and things like that. And even more so when I'm using uh, the exp or more expensive brands, because um, I'm I, I don't I don't like wasting paints. <laughs> and this technique, you know, this art form is uh, inherently ha has a little bit of uh, wastage to it because of the actual techniques you use. But my whole kind of angle on it was at, be at the beginning, excuse me, as with my early videos um, in my YouTube channel, Frosty Eye Candy, I was calling um, uh, the earlier shows uh, uh, Clean Acrylic Pouring 101. And clean in the sense that I was trying really hard to use just the minimal amount so you end up with hardly any wastage whatsoever. Uh, because we know if we waste paint, we haven't got more paint to play with and make more little pictures. But yes, there we go, guys. I'm really quite happy with myself there and with my calculations that we haven't wasted very much paint at all and that we've got a nice piece from it here. I'm really, really quite liking it. But yes, the definition, the lines in between the colors are a little bit wider, let's say, I guess. Um, it's just a completely different piece from, hang, hang on a second, just got to clean my hands. I don't want to put paint all over. But yeah, clearly we have some different definition <laughs> than we do from this piece that was, uh, that was two weeks ago, because we had the week off last week for the pyjama party. Now, I hope you guys watched my pyjama Oh, I have trouble saying it, pig jama party, uh, because all of the uh, people in the collab were wearing um, their pajamas in it. And I, I don't have pajamas, so I was wearing Laszlo the Leopard. And thank you for all the lovely messages saying you really loved Laszlo. Laszlo was good. I really appreciate that very much. But anyway, you still have 20 minutes. Still have 20 minutes? Oh, look at that. Wow. Well, we don't have much paint left at all, but I'll tell you something we do have. I'm not sure if we're gonna have enough time, is we could do an experiment, because I've got some old paints mixed up here. We've got some Piggies mixed up here, and some PBO, some Golden, and they're all a bit old, and they're all a bit thick, and we could do an experiment to see what happens when they're a little bit too thick. Well, this is the thing though, I'm a bit hesitant to kind of waste them because we know what happens if, you, if, you're, if your uh, colours are too thick, they're going to end up melting. Your cell activator is going to sink down slowly and then it's going to go all wavy and you're going to lose the cell definition. Um, so I thought I could do something like that or we could very quickly just mix up some more colours and do another one of these, I guess. Or I'm now kind of at a little bit of a loss of what to do. Quite yeah, quite a short show there, really. It was because I really condensed the beginning of the show down to uh, something uh, a little more manageable, just so we got straight into the painting straight away, uh, rather than you know all of the introductions and then me, me explaining the super stickers and those kind of things. Because I guess a lot of you people that are watching, I have been watching for a long time, and you know all of that. So we're just not going to bother saying that anymore. And of course, I'm very grateful for any of the stickers that you sent me. Uh, very much indeed. So I tell you what I'm going to do is... Uh, a tiny bloom on a coaster with that leftover paint, maybe? Well, you can't really bloom with this. It's a little too thin for a bloom, Vanna. So that was a good idea, but um, yes. Should have thought about a little bit more. <laughs> <laughs> or should have waffled a bit more at the beginning of the show, I guess. Anyway, um, let's, rather than look at me and listen to me waffle, I'm going to get the camera pointing down again. Yes. Has anybody got any more questions? Oh, bless you. Who's that? That's Heather. Heather. That's Precious Bean. Heather? No. Heather Gordon. Oh, Heather Gordon. Thank you so much, Heather. That was so kind of you to send that sticker. I'm, I don't have my glasses on and I try to read. Oh, it, the um, little, everything you guys say in the live chat pops up on the left-hand side of my screen as it's filming. So occasionally I can kind of see something going up and I see a big sticker going around, but I can't quite make out who it was from. But thank you so much, Heather. That was really very nice of you. I'm very grateful indeed. A quick flip cup, a quick flip cup would be fun, wouldn't it? Right, okay, guys, let's... Um, Vanna, could you please take this one away? And there is a space... On the bed? Uh, yeah, on the, in the spare bedroom for the... Uh, for, for it. Let me just pick it up and wipe the underneath a bit for you. Here we go. 
Thank you, my dear. So pretty. Oh, bless you. Thank you, Vanna. Okay, so let's mix up a quick, oh, we have a quick flip cup. Right, I don't, listen, it's, there's like literally nothing. So let's just, and I can't strain it now, so there may be goobers in there. Let's just do, uh, let's pink the pink, the purple, and oh, let's just have a crazy green in there. No, the blue, yes. Okay, so let's see how much I've got. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, right, great. I think we have, see if we can get a yellow in there because the yellow will be fantastic. Uh, no, let's put the green in there. Oh, there were some goobers that came out of this green one just then. Okay, right. Let's just get these guys right here and we'll clean up later. So, oh yes, right, we need a bit more of the green. I hope we've got, oh no. Of course, it would have been clever, so, to pick the colours that you hadn't just emptied at the previous <laughs> time. <laughs> Anyway, so yeah, that was it was maybe about half an ounce of uh, of Floetrol in each one there. So we're putting about another half ounce of the paint of what we can get out. <laughs> and sometimes I love leaving these little bits here because they dry and give you great skins, which is really, uh, really quite awesome because little skins you can use for many different reasons. Right, okay, there's not quite a lot of, let's just see how the green's going. And we need a little canvas. Yeah. Um, uh, in the room, darling, uh, Vanna, with the, where, the, where the spare canvas are, um, one of the little, oh, no, I've just dripped some of the paint now. One of the little ones, if there is a little one. And we will do a very flip quick flip cup. Because we like flip cups. Flip cups are really quite good fun. Now we need something like well, that green is a little bit lacking, so I'm gonna to have to top it up just with a little bit of the uh of this holiday green that I had here. It's gonna make it a little bit darker than it was, but there we go. Yes, okay, we'll use that little guy. Excellent. So let's bring these ones in a bit closer. Bum, 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 bum. It's okay, we don't worry. <laughs> Van is going, it's not primed. And I'm like, yes, it's okay. Because this little canvas we're using here is one of the ones, not from the dollar store, it's one of the ones from my local art store. Now this is the difference. You can see, because I haven't used it yet, the wood on the top is two ply. And then look how thick the frame actually is. It's a good inch and a half, I should think. So it's really, really sturdy and really, really good quality. Uh, and it's only about twi the two, twice the price of its alternative at the dollar store, which uh, is much thinner uh, wood on the top here, only a single ply, a much thinner frame on the back. And occasionally, occasionally, the dollar store ones can warp when they're drying. But these ones are so great and sturdy, you don't need to prime them, pour straight on the top of them, and have a great time. So bingo, that's that. Let's see if we can, uh, right, I need something to do the actual flip cup bit with. So, um, yeah, Van is like, how can I help, Whispery? Because we haven't got any more flow trouble. We're absolutely. You want the Aussie flow trouble? Oh, no, I don't want to waste the Aussie flow trouble. I'm sorry, that's way too expensive. I do have some of the Aussie stuff, but yeah, it's, I'm sorry guys, I'm not going to use that because it's, uh, it's far too expensive. To go. How about some colour to go? No. Oh, I tell you what I will do though. Here we go. We are going to, um, right. Let me just think for a second. I need this because we're going to do the flip cup with this. Boom. Yeah, that will do. It's got some of the white in it already, but that's great because that will help the paints come out. So we're going to put in the green first. And we do need to make sure we can get all of this because we only have about maybe three ounces of paint. Oh no, maybe four. And that will just be enough to cover this little 
little cradle we've got here. There we go. Sorry, guys, I could have been doing this in shot. So uh, this is going to be, yes, I'm putting it in very haphazardly. So it's going to be a very much a dirty flip cup. <laughs> because I'm not putting the colours in gently at all. We are just smashing them together. Because we've got 10 minutes left. Oh, 15. Yeah, I know. I always like leaving, just finishing it on the, you know, 50 and something seconds just to give you guys a bit of time to go and get a snack, have a break before we head off to Venom Fluid Art in New South Wales. And Darren's video is all about the Aussie flow troll because him being an Australian, lucky bugger, who has the Australian flow troll, his show is about whether the thin Aussie flow troll is usable or, you know, the people say there's been different people online selling what they call Aussie flow troll and they just get it and mix it with water. So it gets really thin and you can tell by the sound it makes that it's like water in the actual container. And his show is all about whether it's as bad as they say or whether you can still use it. Excellent, so here we go. In for the little, oh God, it's still not straight. There we go, that's a bit better, excellent. Okay, so here we go, we've got our yeah, it's just under four ounces, so this is going to be this is going to be enough. So there's two ways of doing it. You can be really clever and like whip it together, or you just do this. And bingo, there we are. So it's starting to come out a little bit. There's a couple of ways you can do this. You can boom, let it go in one go, or you can let one bloop come out, bloop, and then another bloop, and then bang. There we are. Yeah, let's get the torch on it because this always helps it. There we go, brilliant. And now it's time to tilt because we love getting messy. So here we go. Dun, dun, dun. Let's take this one first, whoop, and then back over. Let's take that one. Ooh. I'm really liking these colors at the top. I don't want to lose too much of them, but we are going to. Oh, this is pretty. Now, I'm really liking that bit there. I don't want to lose it. So we are going to just put a bit more of what was left in the actual little cup. Yes, and that's the other thing. I could have left uh, the cup upside down a little longer, but because of time constraints, I didn't. Still killing it, excellent, look at this, brilliant. Okay, so I'm gonna pick up a bit of this purple paint and just touch in the sides on this side. Because these little canvases are a little bit deeper than usual. But, oh, there we go. So we're now gonna tip that corner over nicely. Now we're gonna bring this right back. Oh, that's very pretty. There we go, excellent. Here we go, friends. A quick little flip cup. Dirty flip cup as well, because I really did throw that paint in there with not a care in the world. And sometimes with all of the, you know, precision and care we take when we do the more difficult techniques, like the blooms and the swipes and things like that, uh, it's really great to occasionally just go back again. Like the whole show is named Back to Basics uh, because it's ever so fun to go back to basics and revisit those little techniques you learnt, uh, like everyone else did, a lot of people did, uh, during the COVID lockdowns. Uh, a lot of people discovered this art form. I discovered this art form. Um, and it's a great way to go back to the beginning, just to remember your roots and how you could make really pretty art without all of, um, with far less of the fuss and difficulty and technicality uh, that the more difficult blooms need. Excellent, I am now gonna bring you nice and, and closer. Here you go, my friends. Oh, there you go. See, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lift it right up and bring it up and show you. So we've got some lovely little pink cells right through the middle there. You can see them popping up through the blue, through the cobalt. And uh, yeah, the green is just a striking contrast, obviously, isn't it? but uh, next to the uh, eggplant and then the fuchsia. Look really good. I love these little bits up the top here. These little ones are quite pretty. 
But yeah, there we go. A quick little super, super quick flip cup. And there we go, guys. We can see, yes, we did waste. We did waste a little bit of paint. We didn't need quite so much. But for on the fly, that's what we were doing it. And there we go. Nice. So we shall take that somewhere and get that to dry nicely. And we shall have a look at our... We don't need to take it. Oh, sorry, Vanna was coming over to, 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 to admire it. I might give it... The little green freckles. You could put a little bit of modification up there or something in that big block. You reckon I could do a modification in there? Right, okay. We are going to Why do not? something. Right, now, it might work. It might not. But when you have a nice kind of round shape like this, here's a trick of how to turn it into a heart. Now, hopefully it's going to work because you put it on one side and literally just drag the paint through. No, it's because I already... I, I had already tipped it. Yeah, yeah, if we had modified it before. When you can drag it through a little circle, you can kind of make it a heart, which is very pretty. Let's try again here. There we go. Excellent. Let's do a few more of those because I quite like that. And let's put a little one in here. And as we know, guys, and this is the reason we love this art form, there are no right and wrongs. It's all trial and error and experiment and have some fun. So I'm going to put one through this one. There you go, that one worked out quite well. And I'm going to see if I can get a heart out of this little pink dot there. Perfect. Okay, let me get one from here. There we go. And let me see if I can get one from there. Yeah. Excellent, and I'm going to... Happy little mistakes. Yes, happy accidents, of course. I haven't said anything like that for so long. Happy little accidents, happy mistakes. The dearly, dearly loved and sorely missed the lovely Bob Ross, who I am very, very fortunate to have been um, likened to because of my tone and my voice, apparently. Um, obviously not the, uh, not the Afro. So there you go, guys. Can you see, hopefully I'm getting you a good shot. You can see how when you go through a little dot, you can make those little dots into hearts. Are you seeing that? No? Great. Bingo, exactly. And there's another little one kind of about there. Excellent, but there you go, hearts. So if you've got nice little dots in the, uh, in the paw there, just drag your toothpick through them just nicely and they become little hearts. Look at these little ones here. You see those? Yeah. Excellent, excellent. There you go. So I'm glad we were able to do this and have fun. And again, learn a little bit more. This color palette is quite, quite, <laughs> it's quite shocking, <laughs> I guess. That, There's a, that green corner is very pretty. The green corner, the one up here, yeah? Mm -hmm. Yeah, 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 very corner. And we've almost got the green almost acting a bit like a cell activator, because you can see Kind of, you know, holes in it right there. Picking that up. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Great stuff. So there we go, guys. There's our quick, quick, super quick little flip cup. I hope you like that very much. Okay, now we are at, let me just stand up. Dun, 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 dun. And sorry, you're gonna have to look at my ugly mug again. Uh, we are at 53 and a half minutes. Excellent. So like I mentioned before, we like stopping just a little bit early to give you guys enough time to have a pee break and maybe get a snack or a drink or something before we head off to uh, Venom Fluid Art in New South Wales and in the live chat there. So we can see what's the difference between the thin and the thicker watered down flow troll and how it works for him. Okay then my friends, thank you so much. Thank you all of the lovely uh, moderators and the admins in the live chat. Thank you all in the live chat for being in the live chat and for your love and support. Um, I couldn't do this without it, obviously, with you guys. Um, please let everybody you know that might be interested in our little Sunday show, please tell everyone you know, because we'd love to try and build up our watched figures and the amount of people that are watching our little show. Okay, then, my friends. So thank you so much. Thank you to Vanna. Thank you to all of you there. And as always, my friends, Happy pouring. <laughs>